Okay, a couple more little tidbits about IMU um, that you may run across sooner or later. Um, what I've done is I've actually removed the antenna from the modem just to simulate uh, a situation where we have no signal at all. What we see here is that the LS light is on solid. It's not blinking, so we know that there's a problem just by looking at the modem. Down here in the lower left-hand corner of the IMU screen, it tells us about the modem. Um, that little plug tells us the modem is plugged in and receiving power. And this next area over here tells us about the signal level. And you notice that's normally like a little staircase. Remember the new singular promotion raising the bar, that staircase? That staircase there shows you the amount of signal. Well, in this case, I've removed the antenna from the modem. The modem's not receiving any signal. So what we've done is we put a big red X over that um, signal gauge there. And, and that red X means that it's not receiving any signal at all. And in addition to that red X, which sometimes people would tend to overlook, wonder why they're not receiving text messages and yet they got this big red X over the, over the signal level. Well, that wasn't really enough. And so, so what we did next is we, we give this status area, we changed this whole status order orange. And it says problem detected, wavecom modem, which is this right here. Signal level cannot be determined. If the signal problem persists, please check the antenna. How about that? It's pretty smart, huh? Sim and your signal in your area. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate um, that the modem's receiving signal again, and you'll you'll see that uh, that signal level comes up again. In a little while, this modem here, the LS light, should start blinking. Once it does, the IMU will once again give us a good signal level indication and that orange status bar area will go away. Sometimes it takes about a minute to um, do what's called registering. The modem registers with the cell phone tower. And now we got our LS light and now hopefully any time now, there we go. The status area now is nice and clear, and uh, we've got our singular raising the bar type indication, and if you look very closely, you can see that we've got three green bars, and that's like about a middle of the road signal. If I, um, it's actually, with, with this kind of antenna, it's really hard to, um, to, to get into a low signal condition, because this is such a good antenna, but what I'll do is I'll unscrew it, and you'll start to see that this that the signal level will start to fade. I've, I've, I've already gotten down into the, to the condition where I got two yellow bars, and I don't think I could kind of half screw it on to, to the where I, you know. What happens is that this is kind of color coded. You get down into two yellow bars, that's, that's yellow. Once you get down to one bar, it's just one little red bar. And so, anyway, you know, every once in a while you might want to glance in this area here, see, see how your signal level is doing, particularly if you're a mobile DJ. And each, um, each next time you go to each next gig, you know, may have a different signal level condition. We'll talk a little bit about that in the FAQ section, but, um, but that's uh, one area that you might want to look at, look at. And like I say, every once in a while, if you get into a, a really bad situation where there's no signal, uh, the LS light will not be blinking, and IMU will give you an indication. It will not let you uh, overlook it, that you need to, need to check that signal level.